So it is day 294 my 365 vlog challenge. I look a mess, I know, but it's okay because it is future day and I don't care. I'm currently watching Back to the Future. Hopefully they don't take down my video due to sound or music or whatever. Or I don't even know. You know how YouTube is. You they, they create these magical rules. I'll just put it that way. Copyright rules. But, um, you know, today I woke up really excited, seeing like a lot of posts. I received happy future day text. Um, a matter of fact, I had posted a few things, but one of the things I posted that on my Facebook that I absolutely loved, um, I mentioned that I may or may not go to the mall today, dress up in like cosplay, back to the future gear, and, um, take pictures with strangers. It got a few shares. It got a lot of likes. I feel like I might actually have to do it. <laughs> I don't really feel like going anywhere, but I think I might actually do it. I'm probably after I record this video, to be truthfully honest. But, um, it's finally here. Uh, you have some bitter people who are... Hi, welcome to day 294 of my 365 vlog challenge. I look a hot mess right now, so please ignore me. And please ignore that Back to the Future is currently playing in the background right now. Um, hopefully my video doesn't get taken down due to copyright with sound and all that jazz. You guys know how YouTube can be. But I am just super excited. I've been posting since I woke up. I literally had flutters in my heart when I woke up because it's finally here. Although tomorrow will be in the past. I know people... Um, on social media are complaining about certain things. I'm sorry, I've been a fan of this movie since I can remember. I know I promised you guys on my um, Facebook and Instagram that I would tell you kind of the reasoning to why I'm obsessed with Back to the Future. Um, I was probably like in middle school maybe. Yeah, definitely middle school. I don't know. I think my brother knew the movie definitely before me. Obviously, he's two years older than me. I... Kind of was like, he's like, you should watch it, you'll like it, and all this stuff. And I'm like, you know, I'm really picky about movies and things like that, but I'm, I'm absolutely obsessed with the 80s. It's been a thing since I was little. 80s, everything. So I gave it a try. And then he pointed out to me, every time you watch it, you'll notice something different in all three. Like, you'll learn something new about the movie. And then it just became this weird, twisted obsession. And then the more I told people about it, the more awesome gifts I receive. Like, this is from Luke Crate. It's like a Marty McCrime shirt. Uh, I don't even subscribe. I don't even have Luke Crate. I just have friends who have Luke Crate. I get, like, awesome things like mugs. I order myself awesome things like hats. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it's a really cool feeling. Even, like, notebooks and shit. Like, I just, I really got crazy with it. As a matter of fact... I even collect, like, the little cars. For some reason, this video keeps cutting off, so I'm honestly going to mash all of my intros and stuff together. Sorry, you guys. You're probably going to be like, why is this shit repeating itself? That's why, because I don't want to miss a beat. Um, next person to text me while I'm recording this, I'm going to be upset. But anyways, all right, back to what I say I was collecting. I have these little pop figures. And obviously, I cannot forget this bad boy right here. Let me move this out the way. The DeLorean. Mm -hmm. and little, little Marty in it. And I just, I don't know, I have like the DVDs. I have the 25th anniversary edition. I definitely want to get the 30th anniversary edition and saying that today marks 30 years. And, um, well, actually not today. Today is just future day. There's just so many things I can talk about with Back to the Future. It's not even funny, like... I know all the ins and outs. I follow about 13 fan pages. I know Call Me Crazy. And I actually marked going or attending on probably 20 events throughout, like, the world. <laughs> going on with Back to the Future. It's crazy. And so many people have been sharing stuff with me. Um, strangers and friends. It's insane. Like, really insane to me. Like, it's just really weird. And like I was saying before the video got cut off the first time, you have a lot of bitter people who are like, oh, it's just Back to the Future. I've never seen it before in my life. I'm like, if you have ever been around me, it has been mentioned or whatever. Like, it has been mentioned. Like, it's my thing. I mean, I, 
I don't think I can go a day without talking about it, to be truthfully honest. Especially since it got closer to Future Day, I was a little excited. Um, oh, I forgot to show you one more thing. Sorry. These are probably the creepiest things I've never worn them. But they're my 1.21 gigawatts underwear from Back to the Future 1. It has, like, Marty with his Calvin Klein underwear on. This is as close as I could get American Apparel underwear. But it's probably, like, the funniest thing ever. I just probably look extremely happy and super excited talking about Back to the Future with you guys. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I'm sorry, but, um... Yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I made brownies. Um, been sipping tea out of my little DeLorean cup. Just kind of chilling for now. I, honest to God, do plan on getting out to see who's dressing up. I'm not really 100% sure that I'm going to dress up. I might. I might just have to work it out and do it. Um, I don't know. I know at 424, all the Back to the Future fans and geeks are going to play Back to the Future 2 so it can perfectly sync at 429 with Back to the Future 2 when Jennifer, Marty, and Doc actually land in the future, which is pretty cool. And people had set like their watches. That was a whole big thing with the fans. They're actually playing it at all the Imagine Theaters today at 7 o'clock in the United States. Um, I want to say they're playing 1 and 2 at certain locations. You have to double check that if you're interested. Um... What else? The Pepsi Perfect Bottles. Fuck you, Pepsi. I actually just signed a petition along with 1,000 other fans. They only made a select, like, a limited amount of bottles. I want to say they made 6,500. 2,000 of those are given away at Comic-Con. They're not only selling them on Walmart, they're also selling them on Amazon. They got sold out within the first hour. And the thing is the website crashed in between, which is when I tried to get one. And they were only selling them for 2015 with $1.19 shipping fee. They do have uh, look-alike bottles. Uh, I know they have like a Mexico version of it and stuff, but unfortunately um, the fans who are a little upset like myself, we're not upset because they ran out or that they made a limited amount. It's because we know that people who are like scalpers and stuff like that, they're just gonna buy it to sell it for like, I don't know, like I saw bottles that ran for 300 plus dollars, for example. So, like, I'm not really too fond of that. Hopefully, I re-release them. Uh, or just sell them. They need to. I mean, they're gonna, they're gonna get bought. Like, it's a thing. Like, it's back to the fucking future. <laughs> but I'm really excited. But, uh, here's the question of the day. I know I could receive from someone. What are you gonna do after? I'm gonna be a Back to the Future fan forever. I will celebrate Future Day every day. I will start calling Future Day Past Day if you really want me to if it makes you feel better. No, everything in Back to the Future did not come true. That's another thing that's irritating. Um, there's a few movies that stuff did not come true pre trying to predict the future. For the most part, it's just, a, you know, it's a film. It's a fictional film um, with created by people with very, I want to say, creative minds. Like, I wouldn't be able to do what they did, and they did it, and they developed the following. And here we are now. And to the people who've never seen Back to the Future, watch it. You're probably not going to like it, honestly. It's a really, really shitty 80s movie. But I'm okay with that. <laughs> I am completely okay with that. Oh, and also, shout out to 987 Amp Radio. I worked there, obviously. They um posted a like thing. I didn't even read it. I was just excited to share it. Um, about Back to the Future and Future Day. BuzzFeed. It's just been everywhere. Tomorrow's gonna be really sad to know that there's no flying cars. There's these basic hoverboards. We're not wearing our pockets inside out or anything like that. I'm gonna try my best to post this video as soon as I'm done. It might not happen because I really want to get footage of me dressing up if I do decide to do it. If I don't, do not kill me for not doing it. Um, other than that, I'm just gonna enjoy my day. Keep my Back to the Future brownies I made. And enjoy all the posts. All of the love and just everything. Uh, shout out to everybody who supports my little Back to the Future addiction. You guys are the best. Um, really like Mary Goldie Wilson. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter, Kmo Forever. Follow me on Instagram, Kmo Love with two E's, K A Y M O L O V E E. Uh, Kmo Forever is K A Y M O Forever. <laughs> F O R E V E R. Yeah. Anyways, um,. I will see you guys 
later, tomorrow, in the future, whatever, float your boat. If I see a DeLorean today, I might shit myself. I'm excited. I just know today is going to be a great day, you guys. And if you think I'm crazy and weird for it, I could care less. It's my day. I'll see you guys soon. Mm -hmm. Bye.